here's a Hoffler tube. Again, it's, it's actually fairly simple. There's a tube here. It happens to be open, and open here, closed there, and there's a stack of plates in there. And this is a Hoffler tube. Hoffler, um, it's known around the world as a Hoffler tube, and Hoffler is alive and well. He lives in Monterey. He was a professor here for many years. And, he, and Jay Adef, one of the video, Jay writes, I don't know if you can see Jay, you see his hand. He made this, he made this one. He made these Hoffler tubes, okay? So, the idea is, H is for hot there. If you heat one side, if you create a temperature gradient, a change in temperature with position, that's called a temperature gradient. And now what I'm going to do here, the stack is right there. I'm getting, this is going to be the hot side. This is going to be approximately room temperature. And once it gets heated up, and it shouldn't take too long. Jay, you, you didn't make this one very well. So a temperature gradient <laughs> can create sound. All right, That's, this, I'm not gonna try to explain it to you. All right, <laughs> but you heard it, you heard it, right? Now, I told you it only depends upon the change in temperature. So we had this, this was hot, and this was at room temperature. What if we have this at room temperature? Like the second Hoffler tube. Here's the closing. What if I, I hold this? What do we have to do here to get sound? Make it what? Cold. We need the temperature difference. We need to make it cold, right? Well, okay. so this is liquid nitrogen and this is at room temperature. Now, it takes a little while to cool this down, so while it's doing this, I want to tell you something here. Um, these are called, lower? It's starting to hurt. <laughs> these are called thermoacoustic engines. They use, sound, they use um, heat to create sound. The opposite is using sound to make, to cool. That's called a thermoacoustic refrigerator, and these exist. You can do the reverse, and a lot of research has gone into them. Can you imagine why? No nasty chemicals, one moving part, the diaphragm that, that causes the sound. So there's been a huge amount of research in thermoacoustic refrigeration. For many years, Ben and Jerry's funded research on thermoacoustic engines, they, thermoacoustic refrigerators. They have a reputation of being a green company, right? Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they funded research. It's just that there are problems that haven't been solved yet. But maybe someday we'll all have thermoacoustic refrigerators. That's got to be enough. <laughs> okay, same idea as this one. What's important is the temperature gradient. It's got to go from hotter to cooler. Okay, here it was hot on one side, room temperature on the other side. Here it's room temperature. Now it won't stop, right? <laughs> 